Hello and welcome. Welcome back to Bush Tech. Um, today, what we're going to be working on, it's not so much uh, how to improve your your YouTube channel or anything like this, but it is very, very important. Um, many of you may know or may not know of the outages that happened um, the other day, Tuesday night. Um, a lot of places went down. Uh, a lot of sites went down. Um, some internet places went down. Um, cell phone services went down. There was there's a lot affected by this um, thing that happened. I'm not going to go into details because um, YouTube doesn't like me talking about that stuff. So we're going to try to... Um, Go over things that, that might help you if something like this happens again. Um, a lot of people have asked me about what I use. And I'll try to explain some of the things. I use a thing called Epic Privacy Browser. Let's go over here. Um, basically how it works, you actually have to install a couple things but it's free um, it uses what it's called a proxy or another term is called a VPN virtual private network and <clears throat> just the title tells you what it what it is basically you connect to a server somewhere um, somewhere in the world that allows you privacy through through that network it's a it's a very secure network and it's very hard to to hack that said network <clears throat> excuse me now what we're going to do i'm going to show you how to get everything up and running so you're going to go ahead and, and download epic privacy browser just i'll put the link down below um, once you download that and install it, it'll pop up with the screen similar to this one. Now, um, it, it'll give you all this information, uh, encrypted data preferences, and all, all this stuff. Um, One-click encryption, proxy, no tracking, all that stuff. Now, we're looking at this screen. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to go all the way over here look at my mouse over here on the right hand side you'll see three dots up here and this is the how do you get to your settings and whatnot now the the basic principle of this browser it is almost identical to um, the Chrome Google Chrome browser but they've taken out everything that Chrome put in there to track what you're doing so that it's more secure and private. Now you're going to go up to here where it says customize and control Epic Privacy Browser. Click that and then you're going to scroll down here where it says more tools. You're going to go over here to extensions. Click that. Now there's nothing here so you have to go to their store once you click this it'll bring up some more things now we're going to go over here to where it um, encrypted proxy vpn service normally you have to pay for a service like this and it's like 2.99 a month or 4.99 a month depending on where the vpn is and stuff like that um, you're going to go ahead and install this add an extension and boom it pops up it's automatically ready to go and I'm gonna go ahead and show you how how to how this works go ahead and click on it right now it is it is off we're gonna click on right now you just connected to the VPN in your area so right now your computer is hitting hidden behind that that proxy server so right now your IP is not from your computer it's from 
their computer basically. Now say um, the, the internet and stuff went down or the servers went down in uh, the East Coast. You could go switch to the West Coast. Boom, you got a new IP. Now say the West Coast and the East Coast, the whole United States is blacked out like it basically was Tuesday night. Well, say I'm going to go to UK. Well, there you have it. Um, you're in the UK with your connection. Um, sorry, I gotta get some water. Uh, okay, so so you're in the UK right now, but the UK got um, shut down also Tuesday. So um, India was fine; it, it wasn't affected the other night. Um, so you can connect the, to India, and you you can surf the internet wherever you want and things like that now let's go over here let me go to well, let's let's just bring up an, another browser here as you can see i already have a shortcut to youtube and whatnot um but let's go to google real quick oops up here up here google.com there we go let's go close that now yeah right now it thinks I'm in India <laughs> so let's go ahead and switch it back to uh, the US now one place I use oh this is really interesting stuff that pops up here when it doesn't know who you are huh okay never mind let's let's not read all that that's some interesting stuff but um, what's my IP boom okay guys that is not my IP that is the IP of the VPN at the moment now this is a, a website that I do use f from time to time now let's go back up here and say we want to use a VPN in uh, the UK. So let's go ahead and refresh this page. Now look at this IP. Boom! I've got a new IP. And it is in the UK. So I'm completely hidden from the internet basically and it's hackers can't or I should say like phishing malware and stuff they're not going to connect to my computer because my computer is technically over in the UK now I can do this um as many times as I want and I can go back here and get an, a different IP boom different IP every time it's because I'm I'm hidden from from the internet basically now say and th this is a good tool for like if you go over to some countries to where you can't use um, Netflix and things like that from that that country you can you can connect to the East Coast or West Coast whatever the case may be and you can use Netflix or whatever service there is but what I'm getting at is this is a awesome free tool and I just showed you how to make your browser and browsing private and that's a major plus at times like right now of some of the things that are going on. And I just wanted to, to bring this to you. And like I said, there are other things that you can install. Um, over here at the uh, 
Epic Privacy Browser. And one thing that I like to use um, is the ad block filter. Now, I don't use this when I'm watching videos and things, th this ad block thing here. But when I go to other websites, um, I use this because I'm, for YouTube, I want to support my fellow creators. So I watch their ads and things like that. And if you you install this, add an ext extension. Now we are protected. Now say we're going to go ahead and refresh this page again. Now watch down at the bottom corner here. Let me get rid of that. We're going to go ahead and refresh this. Boom. We block three, three things and one a couple from one from Google and one from Facebook why is this that's very interesting this page is um, connected to Facebook somehow I did not know that interesting but there you have it it goes and blocks things that try to track your computer and what you're viewing and stuff like that so it's very 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 good at um, also blocking other things that gets into your computer. Um, it blocks the cookies and stuff that go into your computer that tracks um, what you're looking at on Facebook, what you're looking, what kind of ads are you looking at on um, some website or what, it, what you're shopping for. Um, there are so many things that this thing blocks so you can't be traced and they can't see your behavior behind this browser but there you have it guys i'm going to go ahead and leave it here um again epic privacy but browser it's an awesome tool um if you have any questions please post them down below i'll try to answer everything i can until next time, guys, catch you later. Bye.